Hey yo dan selamat kembali ke satu lagi episod Adik Main Star Wars Kotor tu. So kita sambung daripada episod last, kita tengah pasal lama lama gila dah. Macam keras gila macam silinder ni, macam nak kena pukul-pukul. Kalau dah lightsaber aku rasa sekejap je. Unless aku kalau aku kat konsol ni, konsol ni boleh buka benda ni kan. Saya tengok jap. Tengok tempat. Haa, <laughs> boleh buka. Betul, betul. Uh, tapi aku nak nak rosakkan yang lain kot. Okay, check droid schematic. Okay, so... Uh, ya, yeah, continue. So, droid tak... Uh, aku boleh jalan tanpa droid sedar aku lah pasal temperature terlalu tinggi. Up, up, up. Aku tak berniat. Aku tak berniat. Okay, okay. Relax, relax. Okay. Everybody here? What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with her on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So she's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. She's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If she's one of the Jedi? Hell, we can't have her walking around here. She'll... Well, I don't know what she'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Nar is still alive. What? Well, you want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Kurda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Gorda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's some bad. Tapi aku nak loot dulu. Aku dah unlock silinder ni. Tak boleh kat. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, that's good spike. Okay. That's good spike. Okay. Ada potensi aku akan mati. Belakang tak attack aku kan? Tak Ok nice Eh Selagi dia orang tak pergi aku tak apa Aku boleh regenerate aku punya force tu Hala tuju aku ke sini rasanya Oh oh tak cukup force Okay boom Suruh droid kita Droid kita Macam betulkan nanti Macam tak ada mana portion ni eh? 
Okay, ada spike. Oh, farm 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 sebab temperature tinggi so dia orang tak dia orang tak sedar kewujudan aku kan. Aku kena aku naikkan temperature tadi. So basically aku boleh aku boleh pergi depan depan muka dia. Masa aku akan kat dalam tanda. So, sini semua dah complete Aku so, dapat sedikit spike tadi So, aku nak buka benda ni Still like this Oh, ya, yeah, still tak cukup uh, Tak boleh right, I guess aku still sabuk bash Sampai tu buka Oh, man Dia punya DC dia tinggi sangat Ni skill apa ni? Oh, aku patut activate Akhirnya Alright. So, mesti ada benda, benda sedap yang aku tak miss Ni activate apa tu kau? Shot call Shot call call key dia Left click on the wall Okay So ni 4 So bila attack ni 1, 2, 3 Lepas tu 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Macam tu Rampas ice cream dari kanak-kanak Mana aku membazir aku punya ayam grenade tadi Shit dia ada Dia ada death damage Ini mamat yang dalam Dalam recording tadi Greeting It is a pleasure to see you alive Master HK. Provided my receptors are not off focus How may I be of assistance 
Uh... Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. Aku akan dewa de merah. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. Answer. Ah, then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Dia lah yang tembak. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify hmm. that. Hmm. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous Master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Okay. Answer. The captain of the Harbinger, Master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. What happened? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. Okay. Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. What do you mean, Drug? Implication. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. I meant to communicate only that you were somehow rendered unconscious guy. before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. Lock? Clarification. By locked, I meant sealed, Master. My vocabulator seems to be malfunctioning. Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Okay, okay. Okay. Greeting. Proud answer. I am an HK series protocol droid master, skilled in Aku nak try trick uh, nak check mana tu boleh trigger ada quest apa apa. Has been responsible for the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities across the galaxy. I am fluent in over 6000 forms of communication and am also capable of nuances of expression ranging from irony to veiled threats. Clarification. Oh, yes, Master. 
Sometimes the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities requires the use of every weapon in one's verbal arsenal. The unspoken threat of violence to a listener's loved ones, or if possible, their entire planet, can effectively break the deadlock in the most stubborn of negotiations. Irritated explanation. That question has been looping through my query module with alarming frequency, Master, and no satisfactory answer has been forthcoming. As a result, I have chosen instead to turn my efforts to answering the question as to how I may depart this drifting disaster area as quickly as possible. Okay. Answer. It is only a matter of time before a ship or freighter docks with the Paragus facility. When that occurs, we shall depart this place forever. Condescending retraction. <laughs> I believe you will do your best, Master. This facility would have to be nailed down with a droid-level precision to prevent your escape. Placating answer. Oh, of course, Master. I shall endeavor not to forget such descriptors in the future. If I do, I assure you, it is merely a result of memory damage I have suffered since our arrival. Of I course, that idea. Mm. Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, yeah, they have been... he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna pass it. I need to find out the the truth kan so aku kena kena tanya juga greeting and i heard recitation oh yes master the record of his last moments were five droids burning through the outer door they're, they're forcing their way into the bay please some with it oh, oh no they're, they're through oh my leg they're burning through my leg oh stop stop please addendum his remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Okay. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Mm. Accessing memory. Ah, yes. I believe you've... Oh, yes! It was, where did you leave the droid, Master? If you are looking for garbage, it would be best to ask a custodial unit, not a translation droid. Answer. Ah, then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. Okay. Of course. Uh. Pitying answer. Oh, that is unfortunate, Master. The hangar is sealed behind a containment field. It would be impossible to open it. Clarifying query. Did the T3 unit go through the door? I regret ignorance of that fact, Master. Although the door could have been opened from the opposite side without much difficulty, a flaw in the emergency lockdown procedure, which the automated systems have most likely corrected. Answer. Only the Paragus administration officer would have such codes, Master. If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section, which has been effectively cut off from the facility by explosives. Apology. Unfortunately, communication with the dormitory section is severed, Master. It is perhaps for the best, especially if any other accidents have occurred in that section. If that were the case, the severed comlink 
would have spared us the satisfaction of hearing the miners' screams as they lived out their last moments in fear and terror. Theory. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this oh, facility may place you so in unnecessary dark, dark danger. Side, dark side I will choice. encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Weary resignation. Very well, Master, but there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. Correction. Oh, I already <laughs> possess the code, Master, but I am afraid that it will do you no good. Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid uh, okay, okay. conjecture i suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility he voice locked the droid bay functions a prudent measure but in the end he met the same fate as the rest of the organics okay aku dah ikat tak silap aku aku kena cari recording dia dan aku kena susun dia punya kata-kata uh, kata yang dia sebut susun jadi kod dia explanation Yes, Master. Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is Maintenance Control Voice Print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Okay. Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. <laughs> I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Alright. Uh, aku tak rasa aku boleh persuade dia. Proud answer. Master. I believe my vocabulator is working oh, adequately it. enough to accommodate your request. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Alarmed objection. Oh, Master, no. I might in it. Okay, so can you check some sort of recording device? A console and accidentally unlock something I shouldn't. I was merely speaking such to prove to you that I could. It is a trait I'm quite proud of. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Good. Good. So ya, yeah, kena cari recording device. Pasal apparently HK ada ada attic. Ah uh, maybe itu bukan HK 47 kot. Tu cuma HK biasa je kan. Sebab sebab dia tak cakap nama dia HK 47 kan. Pasal tak silap ke HK 47 dia warna bukan warna tu kan. Dia warna macam warna merah kan. Ya, yeah, sekat sini protocol dot. Protro, uh, protocol void. <tuh> Cari recording device Kita slow the repeat balik Component Pajar uh, uh, component yeah. Ni got sonic processor ni
Ya boleh record Alright Okay uh, So aku kena suruh dia repeat balik Eh uh, uh. View breakdown tu uh, Saya broken items ni Kita tak guna So macam kita breakdown je Lain semua kita boleh biar dulu uh, Apa aku nak create Some sort of armor tak ada Kena ada skill lah So aku, aku kena, kena Kena craft dengan orang lain Recitation. Oh yes, Master. The record of his last moments were five droids burning through the outer door. Yep, oh, Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations. Record then. Okay, so I can believe quite a lot. Poison, what a poison. No, 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 no. Uh... Mungkin perlukan intelligence untuk dapat lagi skill point banyak sikit Tapi aku cuma dapat Dapat attribute setiap 4 level dan Apa kita spend dulu Apa sweat kena Let's increase computer use Let's repair Alright, we are playing Dark Side then. Uh, tapi Dark Side punya skill tak banyak yang effect uh, droid kan. So, macam, macam Fear ni takkan effect droid. Okay, ini untuk drain daripada Jedi lain I guess kita ambil yang neutral dulu Ini buff juga Guess just Throw like saber. No. I guess I'm a bit fear. Berapa lama poison ni akan ni? Aku tak ada. Okay, dah heal balik. So aku ada poison ni pun kering tadi. Alright. Uh... Okay, 
Yo, janganlah buka dulu I'm fighting this guy Aku tak boleh one shot Tak boleh one shot Aku kena shock lah Macam nak kena improve Macam force lightning aku Aduh I break through Tak perlu break through Sini-sini boleh break through Ada ada bot dekat di sebalik pintu ke? Right. Aku rasa I guess aku kena guna droid. Tak patut bunuh ni dulu. Okay, aku rasa kena, aku rasa kan tak kisah kalau walaupun aku main main dark side aku perlukan force heal. Actually no no. Uh... Sorry. Oh, we need to heal. Uh... Jack, kenapa aku masih in combat mode? I guess masuk bilik sebelah ni logo. Sebelah ni macam tak ada tak ada benda lain. Dia cuma satu bilik ni je. Okay, maintenance control. Alice ni mudah Maintenance control Voice print ID R1B5 Ok dia buka kat ni Ok Oh man banyak ni Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. All right. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi and med bay? 
I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy, and that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick, but I don't think Korda and his men are gonna give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused, saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. Okay, uh... When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Why indeed? Okay. If you could access to the fuel line, okay, check fuel line. Okay. Access the nut, yeah, today. HK unit tu yang di pantai Lepas tu dia letak kat situ Okay, oh Sini, nothing Nothing, alright Macam aku nak pakai? Ke dia automatik pakai? Yuk, yuk, yuk Laju gila dia lari Macam aku expect macam slow motion Ah, slow motion macam ni kan Macam uh, Tapi sebab bila laju, 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 laju Oh shit Aku akan terbakar ke benda ni Let's save game sekejap Dan aku rasa Episod ni dah panjang Kita cut episod kat sini dulu Kita berjumpa lagi dalam episod akan datang Subscribe ke channel aku Untuk tengok banyak video daripada aku Kalau suka video ni boleh klik like Kalau tak suka button ni Sila ada di sebelahnya 
Dan kalau ada apa-apa yang korang nak sampaikan Boleh tinggalkan komen di bawah Aku jumpa korang dalam episode kedatangan nanti Take care dan jumpa lagi